companies and ourselves is really to ensure that we are continuously learning about new things. Next slide, please. So, as our CEO likes to say, right, that, that the good thing about our industry is whatever other job you take today, it will probably involve some level of technology, right? So whether you work in the IT industry, you join a bank, you join a telco, you join a retailer, you create your own company, I think the IT skills that you are learning today will certainly still be relevant. Next slide, please. IBM is an 80-year-old company in the Philippines. We've been here since before World War II. Uh, but if you look at our profile, we're a very, very young company, right? So we also have to ensure that the way we develop our talent, the way we maintain our employees, is that we appeal to the demographics of you and a lot of our young employees, right? So, you know, we operate from 10 sites all over the Philippines. We actually have people speaking 15 different languages in the company because we support clients from all over the world, right? 63% of our employees are millennials or younger. Next, please. Okay. So, next, please. I'm sure you will all agree with this, right? Finish the slide, please, four times. Okay. So today, in your world, the challenges that you're facing is that number one, you're so used to the consumer grade experience. You're so used to getting things in an instant. You're so used to using Google. You're so used to using to having things like Airbnb, having things like Amazon. Not every workplace that you join will provide you that same experience within the workplace. Right? So that's what we're trying to do within our own organization. How do we develop the consumer great experience and provide it to our employees. You have access, direct access to artificial intelligence and machine learning technologies nowadays. A lot of organizations do not provide the capabilities within the workplace. So how can organizations leverage on that? The third column, I hope some of you still recognize what that machine is. It's a typewriter, right? And again, very few workplaces have that today. So for those of us who joined the workplace when the programming languages involved was things like Pascal and COBOL, right? When there was when I joined the workplace there was still no Windows. Right? DOS was just starting and so on. So how do I ensure that my skills are, are current as these technology trends changes? And the other thing I think and you're probably the best people to, to confirm this, is we're finding that the young people that join the workplace today want to feel that they're making, uh, they're making a difference in society, right? So the reason why I'm wearing a t-shirt today is because I came from an IBM volunteer activity this morning. We're doing a lot of these types of activities to make sure that our young employees stay involved, right? Next, please. So, look at these statistics. The skills that you have today will be less than a half as relevant in only five years' time, right? So even if you finish college today with the most important uh, or most valuable skills in five years' time, it's less than half as relevant. Next slide, please. In the past, while it takes only organization three days to train their employees with the skills that they need, today it takes 36 days to do the same because technology has evolved, become more complex, and so on. So again, how do we address those issues? Next slide, please. What organizations, therefore, are doing today is because technical skills, per se, become outmoded so quickly, what organizations are now looking when they hire is they're also starting to look into soft skills, right? Things like flexibility, agility, adaptability, the ability to work as part of a team, right? The ability to communicate properly, 
make sure that you gain the soft skills and not only the hard technical skills as you go through your education, right? You may be the most, the best technical person, you know, uh, available to an organization, but if you don't have a lot of these soft skills, your marketability today will also suffer. Next slide, please. So, the IBM Institute for Business Value, which is a think tank in IBM, came up with these three recommendations to help organizations come up with an action plan in terms of how do we close this gap in terms of the skills that our industry, our workplace requires, and the skills that our employees have today. Okay? And these three recommendations is to number one, make it personal, number two, make it transparent, and then number three, to look uh, at things inside and out. And I'll talk more about this in the next few slides. Next, please. So, in IBM, we've actually made the learning experience something like what you get when you go to Netflix or YouTube. Okay? Most of the training materials that we have now in the office is video driven. And at the same time, when you log into our portal called Your Learning, it's gonna come up with individualized recommendations like you get in YouTube or in Netflix in terms of these are the training materials that you as an individual should take. This is based on you know, your, your role in the organization. This is based on our evaluation in terms of your current skills level. This is also based on the subscriptions that you have made in terms of what's your interest, what kind of technologies you're interested in. Next slide, please. We won't play the video anymore. Next. Let's just skip the video because we're running out of time. One of the more interesting things that we've done in IBM recently is we've made it transparent to the employee and to the manager in terms of what are the current skills of every employee and what are the desirable skills both within the organization and in the industry. That means that when you're an employee talking to your manager about your career path, you now have specific data available for discussion wherein your manager can say, you know, these are your current skills, but the organization is moving towards this direction, so you should start building skills towards this direction so that you want to maintain your viability within the organization. Okay? Next slide, please. In terms of employee experience, what we're also doing is we're changing things. When you go to an IBM office nowadays, you won't see a lot of partitions. We like to say that only our president has a room in IBM. Right? So I'm the chief technology officer. I don't have a room in IBM. I have a table just like everybody else, right? All of the senior managers do not have rooms. We all have tables like everybody else. Our workspaces are designed to be agile. So we can form teams as necessary, and then we can disband those teams also as necessary. Right? We have a lot of people doing night shift, but when we do volunteer activities in IBM, we find that a lot of these night shift people are willing to work 24 hours straight just to be able to participate in our volunteer activities, right? I think that's really the mentality of your generation. And lastly, right, one of the more interesting things that we've also launched this year is this program called P-TECH. The idea of P-TECH Pathways to Technology, Early College and High School, is that we're starting to identify job roles within IBM and other companies that can be fulfilled by people with only two years of college experience. Right? So the idea here is that certain jobs will require a four-year college graduate like you guys, but certain jobs will require only two years of college degree. Right? So we've partnered with one school this year to launch this program. We're hoping to launch other partnerships with other schools later this year on to next year, right? So that's how the workplace is changing. That's how important your job skills are going to be moving forward, right? So I hope that, you know,
know, as you go out to the marketplace, you continue to enhance your skills, never get tired of learning, and that's how you keep yourself relevant in the market. Okay, with that, I'd like to thank you very much and hope you have a nice rest of the session.